So, um, welcome to Fun with Squirrels. Okay, not Fun with Squirrels, but just uh, hopefully um, this is something that might work as an activity if you're like me and my students. Um, you're home uh, right now trying to figure out how to run your labs or field experience uh, with your college students in this time of uh, coronavirus and safer at home policies. Um, at SquirrelNet, we have the giving up density module that uses these uh, trays that have their 14 inch trays, three uh, liters of sand. I'm just gonna move the iPad down so that we can see the trays. Unfortunately, you might not see me. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's so much better. All right, so we've got the trays and then um, we're using uh, unshelled or out of the shell. It might be easier to think of it that way. It's sunflower seeds. So there's 10 grams of seeds in this bag. There's three liters in here. And so the, the protocol calls for setting these out in a couple different habitats around campus or wherever but um, i'm going to basically show you what that looks like I'm, I'm i'm not on campus but when you deploy this you wait for a day like this you go out at about nine in the morning uh, you pour the seed in there you mix it up so that the seed is evenly distributed in the substrate so this is just play sand that i got it um, any home improvement store and then just right behind me here I've got a bunch of Norway spruce and Colorado spruce trees that have rabbits and squirrels so I can basically put this out in the yard um, I can see a gray squirrel off there I've got a red um, oak tree right here um, and so what I would do or what I will do is I'll put one of these near the red oak tree and then I'll put another one here also with 10 grams of seed about 10 feet away from that oak tree and, and then I've got two different microhabitats. Now I have these trays and if your instructor um, bought those trays that, that would be the, the main protocol but a lot of us now are just trying to figure things out and so there's a another way we can do this the giving up density experiment without having to have a lot of fancy equipment this one requires this is just a modified thing but you can you can do the same thing um, with the regular experiment we would take this at the end I'd sift it through a screen or some other device and then I'd weigh the seeds on a digital scale or something like that um, and then the, um, the grams of seeds left over that would be my giving up density this protocol doesn't require you to have digital scales, um, fancy 14 inch trays. Uh, it does require you to have um, three pie tins. These are, these are like nine inch standard pie tins. If you don't have those, you might want to eat some pie. Um, you still need some play sand. So I'm just going to use some of the play sand out of here as a demonstration. And you still need some kind of bait. And so you can get uh, out of the shell sunflower seeds at uh, when you do take your next grocery store um, visit. And I'll give you another fun modification you can do as well using a combination of in the shell and out of the shell sunflower seeds that are that's tied in with uh, handling time, okay, and search time. So the squirrels, you know, are they preferring one over the other? So you could put two different kinds of food in one tray. So what I did with one of these pie tins is I, I basically made it a, um, a strainer, okay? Uh, I was gonna use this fancy ice pick, but the holes were too big, so I just used a smaller nail. So you wanna be able to sift the uh, sand through here, but you want this, the, the bait or the food to stay behind so that you can count that, okay? And so the first thing that you're, you're gonna do is uh, fill two of these trays with sand and I won't do the whole thing, but if you just kind of press that in, you can just 
fill. Take, get some play sand from wherever you can get it. It's actually pretty inexpensive at most home improvement stores. Not. Um, and then the more holes you have in here, the more, the faster this will go. You're just gonna sift this out. And I would sift out the, the sand the first time you use it uh, to get the bigger rocks and things out um, of that. Okay. And uh, the way this is going now, just talking here, this will take me about two minutes or so to get all of that sand sifted out. Okay. So I pre-sifted this, so pretend you didn't see this, but you want to sift that all out. And then you've got uh, your habitat, or you've got your, your tray of sand here. Now instead of weighing out um, your seeds, you want to uh, take, take uh, some sunflower seeds and count out 100 unbroken seeds. So just find the best seeds in, in, in this, well, these are 10 gram bags, but just open up a bag of sunflower seeds, count out 10 uncracked or unbroken ones, uh, because they'll, easy, they'll be easier to sift and they'll be easier to count. Uh, I did this previously and there's, it's about five grams of seed, uh, more or less. It's about half the amount. And then mix that in to this substrate now you've got uh, you've got a patch here, so you've got a hundred seeds in here. Mix it all in, put that in two different habitats. So you just have like uh, two different micro habitats, right? Um, that you can compare. Leave it out for a set a number of time. Just make sure you write down when you put it out, when you picked it up. Make sure it's a clear day so that the sand doesn't get wet. And then at the end of the day, take your pick your sifter sift that out and and then count the remaining seeds okay if you started with 100 and they ate 50 you'd have 50 seeds left and what is left is your giving up density that's that's when the squirrels uh, stop looking for more seeds okay the alternative approach would be to use put in 50 of the out of the shell seeds and 50 in the shell sunflower seeds and mix those in do the same thing put them out in two different habitats and you now have a, a little bit more complex design you're looking both at the micro habitat uh, and you're looking at a food preference and you can make some uh, predictions for example the the in the shell seeds are going to be larger and easier to find for the squirrel, but they have to get the seed out of the shell. So they have to take a little bit more effort to handle that. The um, out of the shell seeds will be harder to find, but once they find it, they can eat it right away. So there's some trade-offs here. Uh, and so you can find out if the squirrels are, um, how they're behaving uh, in each of these two different circumstances. So this is a pretty inexpensive experiment to run. The, the advantage is you can do it in your backyard. You can watch squirrels out your window um, if you've got some place to put that close by. Uh, you don't have to be around other people, which right now in the early, in early April 2020 in central Wisconsin is the case as it is around pretty much the entire world at this moment in our history. Um, but we may find ourselves in this situation again, and uh, this is, a, like I said, an inexpensive way to collect a lot of data for the class um, and get a lot of people involved on, a, on the same project over uh, distances. All right, so if you have any questions, give me, uh, drop me a line. Uh, you can find uh, all of our team at squirrelnet.org. You can find our Giving Up Density publication at Course Source. All right, happy squirreling.
Uh, you can watch the squirrels out the window, and here you can see there's a squirrel on each of the two trays. Uh, you'll notice that they're tail flicking. One of the squirrels was more dominant in chasing the other squirrel around, and then the less dominant squirrel ended up on the smaller tray. But that said, both, tr both patches were, were utilized, and I was able to get GUD data from each of the two patches.